Doctor, you don't understand. It almost felt like she had superpowers. Why are you being so rude to me? I don't Shh. like it. As you already know, Ellen's been extremely special ever since she was born. Doctor, you don't understand. This wasn't just any normal kind of mood swing. This was... This was much more serious. I don't know how to explain it, but it almost felt like she had superpowers. She got really angry and screamed at the top of her lungs. And when she screamed, all the glass windows in our house broke apart. And all the dishes in our kitchen shattered on their own too. And then the ground started shaking as if it were an earthquake. And I mean, once she calmed down, everything stopped. I know it's hard to believe what we're saying, but try Trust me, we're not lying to you. This actually happened. It's the truth. Are you sure it wasn't just a sheer coincidence? Bad timing, maybe? It's really hard for me to believe what you're saying, because you're essentially implying that your daughter might have superpowers, right? I know it sounds stupid, but I can't think of any other explanation. And no, it definitely wasn't a coincidence. There's no way it was a coincidence. The timing was too perfect for it to just be a sheer coincidence. As you already know, Ellen's been extremely special ever since she was born. She isn't like any other child. She's really unique. She's much smarter than the average person, much more intellectual. She learned to walk much earlier than she should have. She started doing math problems at the age of one, got promoted from seventh grade to 11th grade because of how good she was at academics. She's always been special, but she's had a lot of problems fitting in with people, and that's why she started struggling with mood swings and, well, all sorts of other things at the age of five. I guess being special comes with its consequences too, but I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen Ellen do anything like this. I... I don't know what to say. Of course, the struggle that Ellen has with her mood swings is really unfortunate, and we've been trying to fix that together for a long time now. However, what you're saying right now is a completely new issue, and it changes everything. Could you please call Ellen into the room right now? I would like to talk to her alone. Ellen. It's nice to see you. It's been quite a while since we last met, hasn't it? Come on, take a seat. I... I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just... I'm not happy with my life. Don't say that, Ellen. We're here to help you, and I promise that we'll get to the root of your problem and fix it. First of all, your parents told me that something happened during yesterday's dinner. Something really strange. Do you remember what happened? No, I can't remember anything. But all I know is that when I could see again, the entire room was a complete mess. There was shattered glass everywhere and I can't confirm it, but I know it was me. My gut feeling tells me that I'm the one that did that. The same thing happened in school that day too. The same thing happened in school? What do you mean by that? Two people were bothering me yesterday because they thought I didn't belong in their class. They threw a bucket of ice cold water at me and it made me really angry. I kept getting angrier and angrier until I just blacked out. I remember seeing them both levitating in the air for a split second and then being tossed to the other side by some sort of psychic power. I know it sounds unbelievable, but that's actually what happened. I've never seen anything like this before, so this experience is new for me too. It looks like you have an extremely strong reaction to anger. Whenever you get angry, it triggers something special inside of you. A special reaction. The only way I can know for sure what's going on is if we do a little experiment. Is that fine with you? If it helps me figure out what's wrong with me, then sure, I don't mind at all. Alright, but I'll have to keep this a secret from everyone else. Because if it is indeed true that you have some sort of superpower, then I'd rather not let anyone else find out about that. It would put a lot of dangerous attention on you. I understand. Thank you for being so nice. You've been my doctor for pretty much my whole life, so I can trust you completely.
looks like an interrogation room from a crime movie. How do you have this in your house? Well, I'm the best and most well-paid neurologist and therapist in the city, so I have a lot of resources at my disposal. All right, we're going to start the experiment now. Remember, it's very unlikely that you have some sort of superpower. It's almost impossible. There's probably some other explanation as to what's going on, and we're going to find out. Don't expect to find that you have superpowers, all right? There's less than a 1% chance of that being true. What is this experiment going to be like? I wonder what's going to happen. I'm really worried for Ellen. Don't worry, Floor. Everything's going to be all right. Evangeline's been with us since the beginning, and she's the best doctor in the city. We can trust her. First, let's just start off simple. Think of something that makes you really, really angry. Think about it for a good minute or so. All right, sure. You don't belong in our class. You don't deserve to be there. I am so angry. I just want to be like everyone else. Hmm, nothing seems to be happening right now. Maybe she needs a push. Something that will make her even angrier. Okay, but I need to be really careful. I don't want to anger her too much. I thought you'd be able to do something this simple, Ellen. I'm disappointed. Huh? What do you mean? The experiment can't work because of you. You had one job, and you couldn't even do that properly. I am trying! I'm doing what you told me to do! I'm thinking of things that make me angry! But it's not working, is it? Ugh, forget it. Go home, Ellen. Doing this experiment was a complete waste of time. Do not come back here again, Ellen. No one can ever fix your problem. This is just how you are. You're always going to be like this. You're never going to fit in, and I'm done trying to help you. Don't say that, please! I'll... I'll try harder! I'm sorry! It's my fault! I'll try harder this time! It's too late, Ellen. The experiment is over. Go find another therapist somewhere else. I'm done with you. I said I'll try harder! Why are you being so rude to me? I don't like it! Oh, her eyes! They're glowing! Her eyes are glowing white! What's going on? <laughs> Uh, uh, Ellen, stop it, please! I'm sorry! I don't forgive you! You should have said sorry before! The way you talked to me just now, I didn't like that! I didn't like you being mean! Oh my gosh, she, she's going to do something really bad if we don't stop her! Why do we need to do something now? But what do we even do? Where do we even begin? The door's locked, right? There's no one in Evangeline's house right now! for you, Ellen. Put Evangeline down, please. Stop. I'm not going to stop. I've had enough. I'm tired of this world. I'm tired of everyone. Everyone needs to be taught a lesson. There's not a single nice person in this world. I don't like this world. Ellen, if you don't stop right now, you're going to do something really bad. She's been your therapist your whole life. She cares about you. I... I will... I can't believe my eyes. She... she actually has superpowers. I feel so angry! Ugh, I'm going to show everyone that I am normal! Ellen, come back here! Where are you going? Being a police officer can be really boring sometimes, can it? We've just been standing here for hours doing absolutely nothing. It's our job to monitor these traits and make sure nothing shady is going on here, but nothing shady ever happens here in the first place. It makes me feel like I don't do anything for the city. Yeah, but this is our job and there's nothing we can do about it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Actually, there is something we can do about it. Just quit the job, as simple as that. 
Yeah, and your kids are going to pay your bills, right? Don't be silly, Ether. I just want some excitement in my life, Maria. I want something really special to happen to me. I want to see something that's never been seen before. I want to experience something that no one's ever experienced before. Something special. Do you know what that feels like, Maria? <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Just go to sleep, Ether. Huh? Is that someone levitating in the air? Ether? Probably some kite or balloon. I don't know. Don't get too worked up about it. Ether, that doesn't look like a kite or a balloon. That looks like a person. Maybe you're the one that needs to go to sleep, Maria. I'm serious. Come on. Let's get closer and find out. Ugh, whatever. I bored of standing here anyways. I'm going to destroy a car first. Then every house, every road, and every car. Everything. Oh my gosh, Maria, what, what am I looking at? That girl is floating in the air. A am I dreaming? She's destroying every house in the street. We need to stop her. I'm going to call for backup. What was that? My walkie-talkie got destroyed. Don't even think about calling anyone. Try that again and I will destroy you. That's it. Stop destroying the city right now or I'm going to arrest you. Freeze, put your hands up. How dare you point that thing at me? Put it down! She has psychic powers! I can't believe this! I'm going to destroy this entire city! This, this is not what I meant when I said I wanted excitement in my life! I want to be able to live, too! I have so many things to do in my life! Please stop, kid! We need to retreat and get back up! Come on! We don't know what we're dealing with here. How are we even going to run away from that gigantic energy ball? We're doomed! There's no way we can get out of here in time! Wait, stop! Look at what you're doing! You can't do this to innocent people! I don't care. No one is innocent. I don't like anyone. Ellen, listen to me. If you continue to use your powers in the city, then you're never going to get to see your parents again. Do you really want to do that? Your powers are going out of control. I... I don't... Then move out of the way! You're not gonna move out of the way, Ellen. We're your parents, and we're always gonna be here for you no matter what. We'll never leave your side no matter what you do. I... I... She's unconscious. Oh, I hope she's all right. All of you, put your hands up in the air right now. Hands where I can see them. Officers, please. My daughter is innocent. She couldn't control it. Innocent? She just destroyed a car. And she almost destroyed this entire neighborhood. We can't just turn a blind eye to this. She'll have to come with us. I won't repeat myself. This is really complicated, officers, but please, let us take her home. We can talk to her and calm her down. I'm sorry, mister, but this girl is too dangerous for us to let go. We need to take her into custody. No, I won't let that happen. Stop right now or I'll be forced to take action! Are you crazy, Ether? You can't do anything to the mother! But, uh, but she's running away with the child! Then we need to follow her! Come on! Ellen, my baby, please wake up! Are you alright? Ellen, wake up! Talk to me, please! What? 
What happened? Wait a minute. I... I remember this time. I remember a little bit. I... I destroyed someone's car, didn't I? Forget about what happened, Ellen. Just tell me if you're alright. How do you feel? Do you have a headache? Mom, I destroyed a car. I... I was about to destroy the entire city. Why did I do that? What have I done? Ellen, you weren't in control that time. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself for it. I never knew I had superpowers, Mom. They just came out of nowhere. I shouldn't have become angry. I don't want innocent people caught up in this. Don't blame yourself, Ellen. It's also my fault for making you angry on purpose without knowing what I was actually dealing with. If I knew that something like this would end up happening, I would have never done the experiment. You were just trying to help us like you always do, Evangeline. You had no way of knowing that this would happen. You were just trying to help us like you always do. Breaking news! Today, we bring you some of the craziest news you're ever going to hear. There was recently an attack in Brookhaven City by a girl with superpowers. Yes? Heard that right. A girl with superpowers. A girl was apparently levitating in the air and destroyed a car using her psychic powers. I know it sounds hard to believe, but some CCTV cameras on the streets were able to capture this live. Let them take Ellen from us. Who knows what they're gonna do to her now that they know that she has superpowers. We need to stay in hiding. Well, well, well. Someone finally decided to come out and show their powers. This makes things a lot more interesting. Well, I don't like it when people take attention away from me, so it looks like I'll have to take the attention back. This girl looks pretty young, but she's quite powerful for her age. She still hasn't learned to control her powers though, which is a shame. It will take her quite a while to learn to control her powers. She's not a threat at all. She'll be no match for me.